Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 6915 Southwest 189th Avenue here in Aloha. We're located in the basement of the home. Uh, this would be basically the right side foundation wall if you're looking at the front of the house from the street. Down here on the floor we have a busted piece of pipe basically. I, this was here for some reason. They may have had a toilet tied in here at one time or something like that for a clean out, but it got banged into and busted off the top of the pipe. Uh, so this does need to be corrected here. That's that's not a, a hole that, or a, uh, an opening that's, a, that's been broken that way. So I recommend that get repaired. We're going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. They currently have water running just up ahead there. Here we go. And looking at the sewer stack, it uh, actually appears to be four inch cast iron, not three. Transitions here at about 17 feet out over to ABS plastic. It almost looks like it's switching over to six inch pipe here. It's a much larger diameter pipe. Now uh, we do have something going on right here just up ahead though where it transitions back to and my camera may not be able to pop over that. All right, we'll let the line drain out here for a moment. I'll get this located. Uh, it's a significantly offset joint there. My camera just keeps banging right into it. It won't pop over the top of that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not going to beat the lens up on my camera trying to slam it any harder than that. So I do recommend this be corrected, and then I recommend rescoping afterwards. Uh, sometimes you can have better luck with a, uh, this is the medium size camera, sometimes with, a, with the largest size. Um, it, it has it sits a little taller in the in the pipe may get over that may not it's a it's it's a severe offset you've only got about an inch of diameter there for everything to go through that space sure hey locate the camera head successfully at the rear of the home it's marked with a large white x um, getting it at about four feet deep there I do recommend that be repaired and then uh, get it rescoped you can see a little clearer now that we've got a, it's a significant offset there. It's probably about an inch and a half or so offset. Hey, located the camera here at both ends of this ABS section. You can see here at the transition that this joint has also shown 
showing some movement. It's separated some, not a ton, but it is showing separation. And then the bottom section down there uh, has, pull, has sunk by almost two inches at least. So I recommend a spot repair here to correct this. It's marked with white paint at the, it's actually behind kind of the addition or the garage. Uh, there is a massive tree only about four feet away from this spot here. So more than likely what happened the first time around is that tree probably intruded through the cast iron and uh, that's why the spot repair was done. It's a, it's a massive tree and it's only like three, four feet from the sewer line itself. So um, what's more than likely happening here is those tree roots, because that tree is still there, it's still very healthy and alive, more than likely those roots are, this is either sunken due to a bad install uh, more than likely, though, you've got roots that have wrapped back around this line here and are tugging down on it again. So we've got offset joints. More than likely, we've got, and with the tree right next to this, this is going to get an intrusion through it again. Now, the unfortunate part with spot repairs with a tree that close is they often will re-intrude because the joints can't be glued shut. So ideally, you replace as much of this pipe as possible in the back of the house because that's, if that tree stays there, you're going to have roots in the ground. It could do it all over again. So ideally, I would replace all the all the cast iron across the back as much as possible, like basically the foundation wall, um, and then because it looks like it's going to wrap around the right side of the house. So any of that pipe that's kind of near that tree, ideally you get it all replaced so you can have glued joints next to the tree. Um, they're much much stronger, much less likely to get intruded by roots. It's not doesn't make it impervious, but it's a much better design because these joints here have rubber sleeves joining them together, and the roots get in very easily. I recommend that be fixed, and then a, uh, a rescope go through to check the remainder of the line. And then the other spot that needs to be fixed here, and I'm going to reverse direction and scope back underneath the floor as far as I can. Only about two feet of what we scoped here was actually inside the basement. Uh, but this, again, needs to be corrected. This is broken pipe here. So, Okay, we're now going back underneath the floor. And this is the stack here, the camera's just about to go up, so we're going to start reeling back here. All the pipe on the floor here, other than two very rinky-dink spots like right here, we've got like maybe a 30 second of an inch of water for about six inches of pipe. Nothing worth busting the concrete floor up for. Uh, if you're going to break the floor up, I mean obviously it's a good time to redo all this stuff. This joint here is showing some, it looks like some movement, there's enough gunk and build up here, it's really hard to see. Um, how much separation is actually showing there. Yeah, apart from this break in the top we're going through here, the cast iron on the floor here is still, uh, still functioning. All right, so after the repairs, definitely get this thing re-scoped to uh, check the rest of the line out into the street. There's probably another, if it goes all the way out to the front, probably another 80 to 90 feet of pipe to go at least.